Welcome to Physician Academy. So today we're going to talk about thiazide diuretics and thiazide-like diuretics. They're a common class of diuretic used for hypertension as well as for diuresis. Examples of this class are chlorothalidone, which is a thiazide-like diuretic, and hydrochlorothiazide, more commonly used. Now, hydrochlorothiazide at its maximum dose of 50 milligrams per day will lower uh, systolic blood pressure 11 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure 5 millimeters of mercury. The mechanism of action for thiazide diuretics is initially causing a diuresis and lowers blood pressure by plasma volume reduction, affecting cardiac output. So this inhibits the reabsorption of sodium chloride from the distal convoluted tubules in the kidney. The long-term uh, use of this medication causes peripheral, uh, lowering peripheral resistance or vasodilation. It's unclear how this is done. The effect of that, uh, we're not clear as to the effects on the vascular smooth muscle. There are some theories and that will be elucidated later. Complications and contradictions to using thiazide type diuretics. So of course, any, any medication used for hypertension can cause the complication of hypotension, as in some people may respond more than expected. Um, so that's why we start with lower doses sometimes. So you can get uh, hypotension is one of the um, one of the complications. Another complication is gout. Uh, thiazide diuretics reduce the clearance of uric acid, so you can end up with gout. Uh, it's contraindicated in, in lithium uh, people under lithium therapy. Another complication of using a thiazide diuretic is common uh, is hypokalemia, and this is a cause of loss of potassium resulted from the diuresis and the effects on the renin angiotensin aldosterone axis. This problem may be mitigated with a combination use of ACE inhibitors. So often with people with really high blood pressure, they often require two medications. So an ACE inhibitor and a thiazide diuretic would work well together. Another option is always to pres uh, prescribe uh, potassium as like a 10 mil equivalent dose or a 20 mil equivalent dose of potassium be taken daily. Another complication is it may worsen hyperglycemia. So how and when do you start using a thiazide diuretic? So and how do you monitor it? So of course with any patient that you're suspe suspecting uh, or you know that has high blood pressure, of course they should get a complete metabolic panel which would give you an idea of how their kidney function is work going and how their liver profile or uh, liver function is. So we had talked before in the hypertension talks about uh, what is prehypertension, what is stage one, stage two, and stage three. So prehypertension is uh, systolic blood pressure of 120 to 130 um, and a diastolic blood pressure of 80 to 89. Uh, stage one hypertension is uh, a systolic blood pressure of 140 to 159 and a diastolic blood pressure of 90 to 99. So in a prehypertension stage, you don't use hydrochlorothiazide. You would, you don't use any medication. You would suggest lifestyle modifications. So if a person has a systolic blood pressure of 120 to 139 or a diastolic blood pressure of 80 to 89, lifestyle modifications uh, lower the salt intake in their diet. At stage one, if they're 140 to 159 and or diastolic of 90 to 99, start at a low dose thiazide diuretic like a hydrochlorothiazide at 12.5 milligrams and you check them in a month. Uh, if they have stage two hypertension, which is a systolic of 160 to 179 or a diastolic of 100 to 109, you can start at a higher dose of hydrochlorothiazide, say 25 mil, uh, milligrams daily and you would follow them up in two weeks. If they have stage three hypertension, which is greater, which is a solid blood pressure of greater than 180, or a diastolic blood pressure of greater than 110, then you would start at 25 milligrams of hydrochlorothiazide to 50 milligrams of hydrochlorothiazide, depending on whether you were going to start two drugs at the same time. When they're in stage three, um, it might be wise to start two medications at the same time, say an ACE inhibitor and a thiazide diuretic. So depending on the course you take. And of course, if their blood pressure is that high, you want to see them sooner, and so you'd see them back in one week. And the higher the doses of hydrochlorothiazide you use, it should be uh, considered starting a potassium supplement. 
So for example, if you're at the 25 or 50, you want to be at 10 milliequivalents of potassium chloride to 20, and you'd want to monitor their BMP every three to six months. Or again, if they're in stage three hypertension, you could start an ACE inhibitor along with the hydrochlorothiazide and you'd uh, need less potassium. You'd still monitor their basic metabolic panel to check their kidney function as well as their potassium levels. Um, but that's the, that's the approach. This concludes the, di the discussion on uh, hypertension using hydrochlorothiazide or thiazide diuretics, and we'll continue the discussion with the next lecture.